What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips, and it's been a minute since I've made uh, a couple videos, so I thought I would start back with doing some very basic Fire Stick tutorial videos. The layout has recently changed, and a couple people are starting to get into it. Maybe they've never owned a Fire Stick before, or maybe they're just confused by the new layout. And I've seen a couple of people asking, "How do I set?" my TV up or my Fire Stick remote, if you have the third generation Fire Stick or the 4K Fire Stick, uh, to control the power on off and the volume for my TV. Now, I'm currently using this on a monitor, but the process is the same. It's very, very basic. This is gonna be a really quick video. Um, so if you are interested in videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe, and we'll jump right into it. So with this new layout, the settings uh, and the applications are in a little bit different of a place. They're looking to generalize the experience by putting everything on the home screen. So you're gonna see if you go over, you can find settings here and without clicking on anything, as soon as you hover over it, all of your settings are down here. Now, you can always get to all of your applications and your settings options by holding down your home button on your remote. And you can see it pops up here, you have your apps, your sleep, your mirroring, and your settings. So you can also click there. So no matter what page you're on or whatever application you're in on your Fire Stick, you can get to your apps and your settings very quickly. All right, so once we click on the equipment control, you're gonna see if you have nothing paired already, add equipment. Once we click on add equipment, you're gonna click on TV and it's gonna say, please wait while we prepare your remote for setup. Now this is also going to scan to see if it can detect the kind of TV that you have. So I'm actually using uh, an LG monitor. So it's detected that the TV is an LG TV. If this is correct, you click yes. If no, then you can click this and select whatever brand TV that you're using. Now they have a lot of TVs here. Like the list goes on and on. It's actually pretty impressive the size of the list. Press the power button on the Fire TV remote to turn the TV off. So mine didn't turn off because I'm not using a TV. It doesn't have those functions, the CEC compatibility. But if it did work, then it'll say, did your TV turn off and turn back on? You would say yes, and that would finish the pairing. I'm just gonna say yes, just to get through this process. And it says my Fire TV remote has been updated and we're good to go. Now, if you ever change TVs in the future, you can always click on manage equipment, go to TV, and then scroll down and click change TV. And I'll take you through the same process all over again. Now, if you ever wanna change the volume increments, you can click on here, and it's just using the fast forward and the rewind buttons on your remote to change the increments. So you can see if I hit fast forward on my remote, that five changed to six, seven, eight, nine, 10, whatever you want it to be. And if you hit the menu button in your remote, which is three lines, it's gonna reset it to the factory, which is five. Now, infrared options is if your TV is controlled by infrared, uh, you can go in here and change those options if you want, timing, IR profile, and what have you. Now, power controls, you can adjust um, your power on delay, your power toggle command. So you can have discrete on and off, or you can have your power toggle, uh, power repetition, adjust the number of times the power on off and the IR signal goes to your TV. So in case if you've noticed that it takes a couple presses on the power button on your remote to turn on the TV, you can change it here. There's also advanced settings. Um, so you can go through all that and fine tune it if you want. I'm not gonna go through all that or this video would be quite lengthy. Now, if you also wanted to change certain things with your display, after you get it set up, you can go in here. Uh, a lot of times on these devices, I turn off the screensaver. I find that it uses a lot of the memory on the devices. So mine's usually set to off display. I usually leave the video resolution to automatic because it will pick the best resolution for you. Uh, match the original frame rate. Some people like this. Uh, if your TV is capable of doing more than 8-bit, then you can change this up to 12. Cuddle format is automatic. Uh, calibrate the display. This is if you need to change the display in one way or another. Uh, if it's not lining up correctly on your TV, then you can go ahead and you can uh, change this however you like, right? Like I'm hitting down on the remote and it's shrinking the size. I'm hitting up on the remote and it's adjusting. So 
Uh, you can accept, reset, or cancel. So we're gonna cancel that one. And then the HDR, so you can change your HDR there. Uh, the audio also has um, advanced audio and you have volume uh, leveler or enhanced uh, dialogue. A lot of people do turn on the enhanced dialogue. And then the AV sync tuning is something that came recently. Uh, this is where you can actually adjust the audio and video syncing. So if you find that, you know, maybe the audio and the video is a little bit off from what you're seeing, then you can actually move this ball left or right and then hit apply. So playing around with this is how you're gonna get the best audio and the video experience when using your Fire TV devices. Now, besides pairing your TV, you can actually manage equipment and add other equipment too. So this is where you can go and add things like receivers, sound bars, uh, cable boxes, game consoles, all that kind of stuff you can add in here. Now, one other quick tip, if you are watching TV and you want to pair your bang Bluetooth headphones with your Fire TV, you can do that by going to remotes and Bluetooth devices. From here, you click on other Bluetooth devices. And you know what? Let me just grab my headphones. All right. So from here, you're going to click on add Bluetooth devices. And now it's going to search for your Bluetooth devices. So make sure that your headphones are in pairing mode. You can see that it found my pair of JBLs and I've selected them here. And it says pairing the device. It's perfectly paired. Now all the audio is going to come through the headset. And it says stereo Bluetooth headset may impact your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and audio performance. To eliminate the impact, connect your Amazon Fire TV to 5 gigahertz router or wireless router. Now, it's usually recommended to connect this device to your 5 gigahertz uh, where possible anyways. Uh, the 5 gigahertz is going to give you uh, better speed performance when it comes to your streaming experience. So whenever you can, do try to connect to your 5 gigahertz network. All right, so those are two really quick tips on how to pair your Fire TV devices with your TVs, as well as how to get your headset paired with your Fire TV devices. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up and that like, and let me know what other simple, easy videos might be helpful. Uh, if you want me to go through some of the settings um, on the Fire TV devices, I can come out with a video for that as well. I've done a lot of these videos in the past on the previous operating system on the Fire Stick, but I do realize that it can be a little bit confusing when we have some changes. So I thought I would do a couple really easy basic tutorials for you guys. So again, guys, this is Mark from Next Level Tech, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, everybody. Uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend.